Now, he's talking about the University Star. I think he's talking about here... Months, so. The San Antonio Express News. Um, so sometimes during the interview, you want to cut to not just the interviewer talking, but you want to cut to some other clip, like a picture maybe of the San Antonio Express News. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up my browser, and I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, myessay.com, and this is the San Antonio Express News, and I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Oh, that's not. San Antonio Express News. Yep, my San Antonio, that's right. So I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And I'm going to use that in my video. Um, you'll see that it, it came to my desktop here, so this is my screenshot. I can literally just drag that in and put it in my interview. You can do that with video, you can do that with pictures, but you can see now yeah, when I play. Two or three months, so two months. It's uh, in Austin at the State Bureau, or the Capitol Bureau, um, covering state politics for the Houston Congress. Okay, that's great. It cut to this, this image. Now this image does not have audio. You can see down here the audio levels, and I'm actually, you can toggle them by just pulling this up. You can see the audio levels have increased now, because he's talking a little bit quiet. When um, when I pulled in this clip, it does not have any audio levels because it's a it's a it's an image. But if this video did have audio, um, you would want to pull that audio down because you don't want to be able, you want to hear his interview still, right? Um, so you can you can use that to, to kind of toggle that audio down a little bit. So you can see now it'll should let you play it. And it's not. But another thing that you could do is you can see that you can make this longer or shorter, and you can place it anywhere you want to um, during the interview. But it also has these toggles up here in the top, and this lets you fade in and fade out that what we call B-roll. Um, it's it's um, some some text or some uh, graphic or a video or something that's playing while the interview is still happening. So it's uh, in Austin at the State Bureau, or the Capitol Bureau, um, covering the state. There you go. So it faded in and faded out. There's not much you can do with this transition. It's just a fade in. Now, once you've got your pieces of your interview or the, the band that you saw or whatever video that you're editing, um, down here in the bottom, you can add transitions between clips. And that's one of the requirements for this project is that you have at least one transition. Now, there's lots of different transitions you can use. Um, you can fade to white, you know, do the spin in, cube, or whatever you might want to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use a cross dissolve, and I'm literally going to click it and drag it in. Now when you do that, you'll see that it's 1.0 seconds. I could double click that transition, and now I could change it to make, maybe make it a little bit longer. I'll make it two seconds. So there we go, I'm going to press play. Okay. A little bit too long, so I'm just going to leave it at one, but you can change the duration of any of those clips. Um, during the rest of these, I'm just going to kind of go ahead and do a cube and then I'll wipe down. You know, these are just. Mm -hmm. um, I was a little nervous, but. So these are the uh, transitions. Pretty easy to just click and drag. Um, and then you can also click on titles, which is the next little piece in your content library. Um, there's three different ways that you could put a title in. Um, one would be to just click and drag it and put it before your clip ever starts. So I know this is an interview. You can see as I drag that in, um, I can put his name here, um, interview with Colton Parker. Okay. And I'm going to hold the space bar. My newest internship. And there it is. And um, you can add whatever else you might want to. Um, he was an SJMC alum. So I definitely want to put that in there. Um, and then you can always go back to the transitions and add a transition to the, uh, to the text. So that was just 
a way to add in this um, kind of pre-interview text. Now, I don't really want to do that. What I want to do is I want to give him a name at the bottom uh, part of his interview. So um, I'm going to click on this soft bar black, and I'm going to click it, and instead of dragging it before the clip starts, I'm actually going to drag it on top of the clip. You can see that it popped up here. So now, as I scrub over the video, you'll see that his name, um, this this thing, this title comes up while he's talking, which is exactly what I want. You can change the duration of these as well. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. Colton Parker and SJMC alum. And there it is. This internship, I've been there for two or three months. And you can move this around if you need to, you can lengthen it, shorten it, do whatever you need to do with that. Um, and so that was just one example of, of, you could bring it over top of, you could put it beforehand. Um, and another thing you could do is just, um, you'll see that it comes up above or before, or if you hover it over top of it, you'll see that this, it'll just show up for the first few seconds, um, which is very similar to this one. So anyway, um, those are just different ways that you can add titles. Um, there are lots of different titles that you could choose. You could do everything from credits, you can see here, to like a poll focus a title, to these crazy cool ones, um, the Star Wars. Um, so lots of different options with a title. You're required to have at least one title as well in this project. Then down here you've got uh, maps and backgrounds. Um, you can add different backgrounds, maybe if you wanted um, this organic tile to, to happen along with a title, you could do that. You could um, add some text along with a background. Um, now, if I were to delete this background, you can see that this, this title is now, it's this little tick mark. You can barely see it, but there's a little tick mark here, and it's tied to this, this uh, clip that I put in. So if I were to delete the clip, the name goes away with it. Okay, so if I want to tie this clip to him, um, you'd have to make sure that this little tick mark is is kind of tagging the clip that it's on. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, there's some other things that you could do with um, with this, and one thing I, I you may want to do is add some um, add some music, and you can use iTunes for that. Um, you could also add sound effects. I'm just going to go ahead and find a jingle. Um, Let's see. Sure, that's fine. Um, and you can drag that right into the interview. So now, um, if I were to create this movie, I would go ahead and play it. Oh, you know, the music's great until he starts talking, right? You don't want the video to interfere with the audio that's playing. So if you're putting in some kind of sound effect or um, or iTunes or something, you're going to want to go up at the very top here. There are some sound options that you have. And I'm going to click on this volume um, panel. And now it lets me click this button that says lower the volume of other clips by a certain amount. So if I'm clicking on this interview, I want to lower the volume of the audio clip to about 10%. So again, I'm going to click on his interview, and then I'm going to click on this audio button, the volume, and I want to lower the volume of other clips pretty much, pretty high here. So now let's see what happened. Okay, you can see that it, it faded out. Now I don't want to do it that much. I'm going to go ahead and do it again, and I'll make it maybe 75%. Okay, so now I've got some sound, um, and you can also play with these levels by lifting these in, or lowering it if you need to. Um, then you have some other effects up here. Um, you've got some, you can change the um, white balance and do things like that. You can also change the brightness and contrast if you need to do that, exposure, um, the hue saturation, all those things are available to you up here in this um, once you select the clip and then you go ahead and select um, any one of these. You can also crop 
you can see that um, if I wanted to crop it, um, he's kind of not really, he's kind of in no man's land when it comes to the rule of thirds. So if I wanted to zoom in just a little bit, I could click crop to fill, and now I'm basically cropping this whole entire clip. I'm going to press the little checkbox, and now he's more of in a third of the screen. Um, when you when we cut to this b-roll here it automatically added what they call a Ken Burns effect and when I click up here on the crop button you can see that it's clicked on Ken Burns and it's taking it from the top down to the bottom okay it gives you a starting point and an end point um, you can move those around if you want to I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cursor and I want it to maybe start up here and then I want it to kind of maybe not go so far down. It'll just scroll down. Okay, so that is another thing you can do with the crop tool. You can give it a Ken Burns effect as it zooms in. Um, then um, you can, there's a uh, stabilization option if you have a really shaky video, which we don't really need. Um, you can also change uh, a video effect here you can give it a uh, dreamy or old world or sepia all these different options um, I don't really recommend using that a whole lot um, especially for journalistic purposes um, and then um, you can change the duration if you really need to but that's pretty much it um, a lot of iMovie is just clicking and dragging and, and making sure the clips are the right size and um, using transitions again the requirements for this project are that you have um, at least one text or title and then one at least one transition somewhere within your video